let's continue the series of corrosion in the playlist of corrosion uh, i have been discussing different methods to control and protect corrosion so today what i'm going to tell you is uh, modifying uh, the particular environment right uh, basically what we have to do in this particular method is uh, you have to you know uh, reduce the corrosive nature of the environment and that uh, you can do either by the uh, removal of harmful compounds Components, right either you uh, remove uh, the harmful constituents which are already present or you can what you can do is you can add uh, a specific substance you know which neutralizes the effect of corrosing constituent of the environment so in modifying the environment we have to take care of two things only first either you remove that harmful constituent and second if it is not possible then you add a specific substance which neutralizes the effect of that corrosive constituent right now how can you do that uh, there are four methods let me discuss them one by one deactivation deactivation involves addition of chemical which is capable of combining rapidly with oxygen in the aqueous solution what you have to do is to deactivate the oxygen for that what you can do you can add sodium sulfide sodium sulfide will react with that oxygen and it will form sodium sulfate so sodium sulfate is formed and the oxygen is deactivated because you have added a substance which has reacted with it likewise you can use uh, like hydrazine hydrazine what does it do nh2 dot nh2 dot h2 i'll use n2h4 for hydrazine so hydrogen is also in fact advantageous over sodium sulfide because here uh, in the reaction product if you can see is only nitrogen and water so that is obviously advantageous because it's not going to give you one kind of uh, precipitate right so deactivation what does that mean that involves you deactivate the thing which is present and normally you understand that the presence of oxygen happens at uh, cathode the reaction takes place with this so what you want to do is to deactivate this oxygen i repeat what you can do you can simply add certain chemicals which react with oxygen and i give you two examples here sodium sulfide and hydrazine now let us go ahead with next step next step is deaeration now deaeration d de means removal removal of air so here what happens is uh, if you remember oxygen concentration cell right their oxygen is majorly responsible for creating anodic portion and cathodic portion so what you can do here you exclude that oxygen from the aqueous environment uh, that reduces the metal corrosion first of all or you expel that dissolved oxygen by you know adjusting the temperature together with the mechanical agitation so if you do that adjust the temperature and agitator is there uh, i hope you uh, remember that when you increase the temperature the solubility of gas decreases right so what you have to do is to just heat it properly with proper uh, agitation whatever liquid you are having water or electrolyte when you heat it there should be air vent and out of that the gas will come out and in fact this method reduces other gases also like co2 content of water so overall it will decrease the corrosion rate uh, let's say example of steel pipeline which carries steam condensate from boiler so that's a perfect example deaeration means you have to remove the air and how are you going to do it by increasing the temperature so that the gas itself gets evacuated coming to the third type dehumidification again de stands for removal and obviously humidity that means what are you going to do here is you are going to reduce the moisture content of air to such an extent that the amount of water condensed of the metal is very small which causes corrosion right so you have to remove the humidity from air and if the humidity is removed then there is no water present in the air and that's how uh, there will be no corrosion and i hope you remember that aluminum silica gel you have you have seen them right whenever you purchase something and then silica gel pouches form there what uh, does it do it absorbs moisture 
preferentially uh, from the surface like uh, closed areas are there like uh, shops are there you use air conditioning uh, there there you can keep aluminum or silica gel which will preferentially uh, absorb moisture on the surface so dehumidification is also uh, one of the approach now coming to the last one the last one says alkaline neutralization here you were focusing on humidity but here what are we doing is we are focusing on the neutralization aspect uh, prevention of corrosion by neutralizing the acidic nature uh, the corrosion always occurs uh, more in the acidic environment ph sensitive more in the acidic environment so, like if h2s is present hcl co2 so2 some acidic character is present as a corrosive environment then the corrosion will takes place so what you have to do here you have to use alkaline neutralizers like ammonia like naoh lime naphthenic soaps etc they you just have to inject them either in vapor or liquid form to the corroding system to the part so that is how uh, the corrosion will be reduced for example uh, corrosion of refinery equipments they are uh, this particular step is used alkaline neutralization so what happens here in alkaline neutralization that you have to neutralize the particular uh, metal the particular environment which is acidic by such alkaline neutralizers so with that i have come to the end of this uh, video in this video what i have covered is that one of the uh, method is simply modifying the environment if we cannot do anything with respect to the metal what we can do is we can modify the environment either remove the particular thing which is causing corrosion or you add something to remove the effect of the corrosion environment so that is what the major principle of modifying the environment and i have discussed there are four easy ways to do it first is to deactivate whatever oxygen is present by reacting it with some compound second is to remove that oxygen so this is removal method this is addition method remove that oxygen by increasing temperature and all third one is removing the humidity or water present in the air and the fourth one is adding a alkaline neutralizer so that the ph uh, uh, becomes basic and it's not acidic and then it reduces the corrosion so i hope you have understood this method very well if yes please do mention in comment that would uh, give me motivation and do uh, subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you